How is it going, guys? In today's video, we are going to be ranking every single live-action Star Wars movie from worst to best. This video is just for fun and my own personal opinion, so please don't hate on any of my opinions for the ranking of the Star Wars movies. Feel free to let me know your rankings down in the comments. Anyways, let's jump into the video. Number 11, The Last Jedi. This film was an okay film, but nowhere near what us Star Wars fans would consider good. This movie had tons of flaws, and it was very rushed. And don't get me wrong, there were, were some good parts, but for the most part, it was just a big pile of rushed work. The major downfall of this movie, in my opinion, was the side story with Rose and Finn. In my opinion, it just wasn't that interesting and messed up the whole movie. I feel like Finn... And his character could have been so much better, but with that side story, they kind of ruined it for him. Even though this movie was terrible, I gotta give it to Disney's editors. This movie was visually really appealing, and it blew all the other films out of the water with the editing. So congratulations to Disney's editors. You did a really good job on this. Number 10, The Rise of Skywalker. This movie overall was a lot better than the last jedi but it still wasn't amazing i love the ryan kylo dyad in the force idea but bringing back palpatine was a big mistake the whole point of the original movies and the prequels was to kill off palpatine and to bring him back like what was the point of that that was one of the many mistakes in this movie also right taking on the name skywalker that was just pathetic she is no skywalker i would have been fine if she just took her name ray palpatine or just been ray like why Ray Skywalker? She is no Skywalker by any means. Number 9, The Force Awakens. This movie wasn't nearly as bad as the other sequel movies, but wait, I feel like I've seen this before. I wonder where. I remember, this movie is an obvious copy of A New Hope. I know that there are new planets and all, but they all have the same concepts, like Jakku and Tatooine. Disney took the safe route with this movie, and I don't blame them, but I still would have liked something new for the sequel trilogy. I also don't like what they did with Luke, where they made him forget all of his lessons that he learned in the previous three original movies. He threw away Anakin's lightsaber, which he loved. That is certainly not like the Luke I know and love. Number 8, The Phantom Menace. This could easily be interchanged with The Force Awakens, because this movie kind of bores me to go and rewatch, but it never disappoints. What really seals the deal between this movie and The Force Awakens is Duel of the Fates. This added so much flavor to the movie compared to Finn and Rey vs. Kylo Ren. Duel of the Fates is actually really well choreographed compared to The Force Awakens duel between Rey, Finn, and Kylo. I also really liked watching Anakin's pod race and Anakin winning. I also like how we get sub subtle hints throughout the movie that Chancellor Palpatine is evil. Qui-Gon's death is also really sad, and we soon later find out in the other movies why this duel is called Duel of the Fates. 7. Solo This movie was great, but we didn't really need it. Either way, I really enjoyed this film, and I felt that I can rewatch this without any issues. I did find Lando's droid L3 to be pretty annoying, and I felt that Dryden Voss was pretty dry as a villain. Darth Maul's appearance in the end was out of nowhere, but I did find it cool. The actors for young Han Solo and young Lando did a really good job, and I enjoyed their performances in this movie. Number 6, Attack of the Clones. I really like this movie better than Solo because we get to see a lot more Jedi and the Jedi Order at its peak. I also liked to see Anakin's and Padme's relationship advance. I really liked to see Anakin and Obi-Wan become more like brothers and grow their master Padawan bond. We see multiple times where Anakin and Obi-Wan fend off opponents together, especially Count Dooku. Even though they lost, this was the first film where we saw Yoda with a lightsaber, which I think was awesome to see. Before we get into the top 5, make sure to like and subscribe. Number 5, A New Hope. This is what kickstarted it for Star Wars. The OG, the first film, the original, and you can't go wrong with nostalgia. There were many good things about this film. We were first introduced to Darth Vader, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Luke Skywalker, Leia Organa, Han Solo, Chewbacca, Stormtroopers, and many more characters. This is the film where Luke destroyed the Death Star. Obi-Wan and Vader had their final fight slash first fight. Han and Chewie made a spot in the fan's heart, and this film was overall amazing. But the goal was always to get better, and that is what the next four films in my list did. 
Number four, Rogue One. This film was overall amazing. We got the story of Jin Erso and Cassian Andor, who now has a show called Andor, if you haven't seen it. This movie had great visuals and CGI, and you can't forget Darth Vader's iconic hallway scene, aka one of the best scenes in all of Star Wars. Jin and Cassian unfortunately meet their demise, but it is serving a good cause to help the rebellion. Number 3, Return of the Jedi. This film is iconic because Luke gets his trademark green lightsaber, which is known to many fans as his main weapon. We also saw the rescue of Han Solo and the Sarlacc pit scene. The the Death Star 2 is destroyed and the galaxy is in peace. For now, Palpatine is killed by Darth Vader, now redeemed Anakin, and Luke is saved. Darth Vader eventually dies, but he is now Anakin and can be a Force ghost with Obi-Wan Kenobi and Yoda. The Chosen One has finally brought peace to the Force. There is no more Sith. Number 2, Empire Strikes Back. This film is widely considered by many fans the best Star Wars film, which I respect, but I believe there is one more that comes on top. We are introduced to Yoda, we see Han Solo turn to Carbonite, and we learn that Darth Vader is Luke Skywalker's father, and Luke transitions into the Jedi we know and love. There's also the battle on Hoth that we get to sit back and see. There's nothing wrong with this film, and it is one that us fans will always love. And in first place, we have Revenge of the Sith. This film, in my opinion, and many other people's opinions, is the best film in Star Wars history. We see Anakin get deceived by Palpatine into turning to the dark side. We get Anakin and Obi-Wan going to brothers to sworn enemies. Anakin slaughters the whole Jedi Order, and the galaxy is in dismay. We get the best battle, in my opinion, Battle of the Heroes, between Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker. We see how Anakin is deformed and has to become Darth Vader. This film, in my opinion, has no flaws, and I can rave for days how good this film is. But we don't have that time, and I don't want to bore you. But yeah, Revenge of the Sith is number one. Let's go! So yeah, that is my list for all of the live-action Star Wars movies ranked in order from worst to best. Let me know in the comments if you want me to make another video like this, but ranking the shows. Anyways, thank you for watching and taking time out of your day. I will see you guys in the next video. Have an amazing day, and may the Force be with you.